I want to move on to things like the rivalries. You've played in some huge clubs. I mean, I manage huge clubs. Um, where, where would you say the biggest rivalries have been? Because it seems intense in at Roma, but equally, if not more, in Madrid, Chelsea in London. Where, where's in Porto as well? Where's been the, the rivalry you've gone? Oh my God, that is different. You know, I, you know, it is everywhere. To be honest, uh, Roma, Spain, Portugal is hard. Uh, England, I believe, with more with more discipline, but the rivalries, of course, you know that they are very, very strong in Latin countries, in Latin cultures, becomes maybe, you can feel more the emotion of it, mm. um, even on the negative side, even with some aggression, even with some uh, violence before, after matches. England is, I believe, a much more structured nowadays, um, luckily. Uh, without this level of problems. But I would say that um, my times uh, at Real Madrid, um, these three years in Real Madrid were years of a huge rivalry with Barcelona. Mm. Also because it was not just the cultural and historical rivalry, but also the moment, the moment. Um, I don't want to say the best players in the world uh, because, of course, England always had uh, incredible players. But maybe in that moment there, the best Cristiano, the best Messi, uh, the best um, Benzema, the best Higuain, the best uh, Iniesta. Di Maria. Uh, Di Maria. Well. Everything, everything was, was there. Uh, Barcelona, the best the best team in the, in the world, Real Madrid trying, trying to change uh, that perspective. In the same season, uh, league matches, Super Cup matches, Cup finals, <laughs> Champions League quarterfinals, everything all together. And I felt that in that period there, the world stopped for uh, Barca Real, Real Barca, the world stopped mm -hmm. there. And we were feeling uh, that. Then one, one season Barcelona wins it, then the next season Real Madrid wins it. It was beautiful, beautiful. But I think um, if I could say it because of the intensity at every level, was probably was probably there. Then, Do you yeah. enjoy that? I, I, I remember big pressure situations, Champions League, semi-finals, finals, the rivalries. In the moment, I don't think I really ever enjoyed it. I was in more relief after you win. Like, th those moments, are, are they enjoyable for you as a manager? You know. <laughs> when it's so intestine. Um I have to say that it was hard, but then you feel that you cannot go uh, higher than that. <laughs> uh, for you to have an example, for us to win the league, we did 100 points you know that if you don't do 98, 99, 100, you don't win it. <laughs> you know that if you have a draw, you are in trouble mm. because Barcelona wins. For sure. uh, then the next season, uh, w the previous season, when Barcelona wins, uh, I think we lost with uh, 92 points, 91 points, something mm. like that. So you know that you make a mistake, you are in trouble. You have to win, you have to win, you have to win, you have to win. And then if you have if you have guys like, uh, like Cristiano, for example, where uh, you are playing against uh, Levante, you are winning 5-0, you tell the guy... Relax. <laughs> Come on, take a rest. <laughs> no, 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 I can, I can score one, one more goal. When you have guys like this, you know, uh, the, 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 the boat is in the water and you just let the boat go and in the end you, you enjoy the fight. And we did, but of course is. Uh, is easy. I don't know. Maybe because of, maybe because of, uh, of, of that pressure. Maybe because of that tension. Um, after the second year, Pep went to to a sabbatical mm. year. Maybe because of that, on the third season, I spoke with the president and I told him, I think it's better for me to go. I think it's better for me to go to to Chelsea. And, and change a little bit more. No, Joseph, please don't do it. Now is time where we are going to win it and kill because <laughs> the most difficult time is, is gone. President, 
I, I agree, the most difficult time is gone, but it's also time for me to, uh, to go. It's draining, uh, tired. Yeah, yeah, you can say a little bit, a little bit like that when the tension is, is high. I think in this moment in Spain, people miss these times. Yeah, <laughs> I think they miss true, it I because agree. it becomes something, uh, something different. But I would say that that period was, was tremendous. But Benfica, Porto, Porto, Benfica, United, Liverpool, Liverpool, United, uh, Roma, Chelsea, Lazio, Arsenal, sure. Lazio, Roma, Inter, Inter Juve, yeah, more than Roma. Inter Milan. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never people, knew that. people. I don't know. Because maybe AC wasn't doing as well then, maybe. I, I don't know. But the, uh, the the first derby I played Inter against Milan, uh, I remember clearly. I was in I was in the bus and I was looking and, you know, people together with Milan scarves, with Inter scarves. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, really, really nice, really friendly. I didn't feel it as that big, big derby when his interview is when you when you feel. Mm when you feel that something is not going historically well in, in between 